Well, today is the 16th of December. Wilma and I are at uh, Rock Cut State Park. We're parked here by the dam. We're going to wander around for a while. And have a nice walk. It's about 1020. It's 38 according to one of the uh, banks we went by on the way here. It's kind of windy, but it's a nice hiking day. Kind of gloomy looking. I don't know if it's going to rain or not. Looks like it might. Yeah, well, it won't melt. I wonder where this goes. This is the main trail, and there's a side, kind of a side trail. I see uh, straw here, so I suspect that this just goes to a deer hunting blind and doesn't go anywhere else. I think they probably put the big branches there to keep the bicycles off of it. I don't know if that would work or not. Yeah, well, one wants to go look. Maybe we'll go look. As I suspected, a deer hunting blind. I don't know if this is where it was, but that's where they put the... Ah, creaky. That's where they put the straw. We're going to keep going down this way just to see what there is. I think we've been down here before. And Wilma wants to run around tie me up. She's a beagle. Well, it just ends. I think it's just access to this hunting blind area. It's only maybe 100 yards in, 150 maybe. I think we went this way once before. Mama wants to go this way again. It's not really a trail, but you can see people walk on it. It goes over and connects up to the trails by, what do they call it? North Park Grasslands or something. We'll see. I was thinking it might just be a fire break, but I don't know, they went to the trouble to put a culvert in here, so might be a little bit more than a trail break. I don't know. Hard to say around here. It's definitely wider than it was, and I think they've they moved it down closer to the tree line because it used to be up there, and you maybe see where it used to be. It's kind of overgrown. Well, it does come out at the grasslands area. I remember. There's a little deer blind here again. Pretty. It has a lot of debris they've left on that particular trail or fire break or whatever it is to keep the bikes off, I guess. Seems to me there was a an old trail off to the left here to the south that we ran across once when it was pretty icy and muddy and I went to walk on it in mud. Who knows? We'll give it a shot. You can see they put some debris on this old trail to discourage the bicycles too, but it doesn't discourage me or Wilma. We'll just peck around it. There's a trail over there. That might be a regular old trail, but we'll we'll go down there and see. Made it over to the trail. You can see there's a whole bunch of downed stuff. I don't know how well you can see the old trail but if you follow the pile of debris that's <laughs> where it used to be. <laughs> I'm guessing they put the debris there to keep the bicycles off. I'm not sure why but who knows. Now, I'm not sure where this trail actually goes. It kind of winds around and who knows what. I don't recall ever being on it before. It's not labeled but it's clearly a well-maintained trail, although it's not a typical hiking trail up here in the park. And yeah, it's only a single lane trail, so it might be... I don't know what it is. I haven't seen any signs on it at all. 
It might be one of the mountain bike trails that the mountain bikers put in. As far as I know, it's somewhat of a secret as to where those trails are. And uh, none of them are actually labeled. I'm not sure why. Apparently it's a, some kind of cooperative venture between a mountain biking club and, a, and the park. But, you know, I think we're coming out over the top of something here. I can see some, <coughs> something over there. You know, it comes out here on the top of this hill. That's uh, got a sign labeled B25. And there is a little itty bitty sign that says mountain biking trail here. I don't think it's on any of the maps I've ever seen. I don't know what is there either. I'll have to look on the map. Now it's 20 after 11, so I think we're going to head back. We're going to take this trail back. I'm not sure where it goes. Never been on it before that I remember, but it seems to be going someplace interesting. And it's more or less in the general direction we want to go, so. Interesting. We have a marker B32, but I don't see a B32 on the map anywhere, so that's more or less going south. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I've been here before, and I think both of these actually go back to the Willow Creek bike path. There's an old trail marker on that tree over there I've taken a picture of in the past. Well, here's a leftover of a, an old building. You see concrete here. And some metal and whatever else. We've been by here before. I don't know that there's any anything that interesting about it, but hey, it's a little different. We're going to go down this trail. I'm pretty sure we've been this way before, too. Now, you can see the Willow Creek there. And... Uh, in the foreground, you can maybe see one of the bridges that the Willow Creek Path goes over the creek. So we're just going to keep going down this path, and Wilma well, wants to go back in the woods, but we got to get back before the football game starts. Now this trail just ends at the Willow Creek Path. Yeah, it's a nice little trail. It's up above the, the creek, and Wilma well, wants to go back in the woods. Swimming well, in the creek. At least there's water in the creek this time. The last few times we've been by, there's been no water. It's been just totally dry. Uh, well, we went down there to investigate. This is the last resting spot of Mr. Stick. We're uh, headed back up Willow Creek Trail. Well, I was in a big hurry going to investigate the creek again. I guess that's all she wanted to look at. A park truck that came by while we were standing here by the side of the, the trail. Uh. 